Good morning, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. Just put on a warm shirt. It's kind of coolish. On this September the 14th, 2019 morning, it is, according to my clock, it is 10, 12 in the morning here in West Michigan, by Lake Michigan. I posted those videos of the sunset uh, last night. My wife and I, we drove out to Lake Michigan. It's about 15 minutes from where we live. And it's just part of the Great Lakes. I'm sure there are people all over the world that somebody commented that they called the lake a sea, but it's not a sea. It is a, one of the largest freshwater bodies of water in the United States, Lake Michigan. So we went there to see the sun go down and I took some videos and photos. Something different, usually I just, lately since I stopped going for walks, I just take, I take pictures of the stuff around the house. Now once in a while I'll go out for a walk in the country, a country park. There's lots of parks around here. There's Lake Michigan, there's all kinds of places to, to walk and to ride your bike and especially along Lake Michigan, all kinds of parks. Anyway, I'm here to make a booktube video or a Friday Reads. Now yesterday was a Friday and as you all know, I volunteer at our local library, which is just a couple just a couple of minutes from where we live and there's a bookstore and I volunteer there on Mondays and Fridays from 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. I'm not going to show you the books I got from the book nook uh, yesterday. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I read when I was at the book nook. I read, uh, I got this in the mail this week. This is Stephen Spender, his journals from 1939 to 1983. He, uh, the journals open up with the, the uh, in uh, September of 1939, and you have the beginning of the Nazis and Hitler and the the beginnings of the Second World War. And he, now he writes the journals as a, he knew they're going to be published eventually. So they're very, um, they're just really beautifully written. Now, Stephen Spender was a poet, primarily, if I remember correctly. Now, I did buy a used biography on the life of Stephen Spender. As you all know, I have this uh, love for biographies and I bought a biography on his life. And, but he was primarily a poet. And uh, it says here in the back, a central figure in the political and cultural life of our time for over 50 years Sir, Spender, Sir Stephen Spender has witnessed and participated in some of the century's most significant events and has known many of its most interesting and gifted individuals. Having kept journals intermittently, intermittently most of, his, of this time, Spender has recorded his vivid observations and reflections on the scenes he has witnessed portrayed in his friends and acquaintances, including W.H. Auden, T.S. Eliot. I showed you that book that Stephen Spender wrote on T.S. Eliot. Is it Stephen Spender? Spender? Uh, Christopher Asherwood, Francis Bacon, the very famous painter, David Hockley, and many others set down his ideas, hopes, aims, and regrets. Yeah, I, I read this at the book nook. I really enjoyed it. I read it um, last night. I don't remember what I read. Uh, yeah, I read this before I went to bed. And I've been reading uh, Duck's Newsbury Report by Lucy Elman. Uh, I've read 181 pages. I really like this. And I've been reading still The Cold Warriors, Writers Who Waged the Literary Cold War by Duncan White. This is really good. I, I, uh, 
I've learned a lot from it and uh, I'm really enjoying this. It's really good. The last thing I read was uh, by Graham Greene, the very famous uh, novelist. And he worked for the British Intelligency, Intelligence Agent, Agency during the, uh, I think it was back in the, uh, the late 30s. So it's interesting reading about Graham Greene because I collect the writings of Graham Greene, biographies. Anything about Graham Greene I collect and it was interesting reading about him and, uh, and his work <laughs> being a spy there in North Africa. In the mornings, I, I, like this morning I'm reading for devotions, uh, Biblical Theology, the New Testament of Peter Stonemacher. I've read almost 470 pages. This book is over 929 pages. It's, one of, it's become one of my best, one of my favorite books. I probably put it on my list of one of the top books I've read as a Christian. I think every Christian should read this. Every minister, elder, bishop, deacon. It's really good. I, I've, been, I've been really blessed reading it. And I'm still reading in the morning. I read this. I had a dentist appointment. Uh... I think it was on Thursday. Anyway, I've been reading this in the morning too, Doing Theology with the Reformers by Ger Gerald L. Bray. And reading Romans chapters 1 through 8 and the Reformation Commentary in Scripture. I've been reading these, these two in the morning. So that's about it. As far as reading, today is a Saturday. I probably watch college football. I don't. I'm not really into sports. I'm not into baseball or soccer or tennis. I like watching football, college football, professional football. Now I'm not really a hardcore football fan either. Sometimes I'll just put it on mute and I'll read or write or mess with the computer when football's on. But that's what I'm reading as far as in my uh, commentary on Romans. I'm still on Romans chapter 3, which reads, I'm on those verses uh, 27 through 31 of chapter 3 of Romans. Whereas boasting then is excluded by what law? By what law of works? No, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. Or is he or is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also the God of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, since there is, no, there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish the law. So that's where I'm at in my Romans chapters 1 through 8 commentary. I'm there on Romans chapter 3. But like I said, I'm really enjoying reading The Cold Warriors. I'm really enjoying Duck's Newbury Port by Lucy Elman. I usually read these in the afternoons, in the evenings. Uh, really enjoying S Stephen Spender's journals. Uh, you can tell he was a poet. There's a, it, it, I haven't read his poetry. I was going to go down the lower level this today and see if I can find or go online and read some of his poetry. Like I said, I got a, a biography of coming in the mail on Stephen Spender. So that's it here in my book world. I got used books coming. I got a, I got a new book today coming in the mail on Covenant Theology. It's a Christian book, and uh, I want to do that tag. Somebody tagged me, Biblio Atlas, on University Press, and I will do that probably, I might do it tonight or tomorrow. My wife right now is at a women's Bible conference, and so that's why the house is kind of quiet. We're babysitting Ollie, our oldest son's dog, they're in Chicago for the weekend, and uh, so Ollie's keeping me company. Com 
company this morning. So I hope you're all doing well. I thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Do pray that all is doing well. And until next time, bye.